Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Revit tutorial series on Beam and Beam. In today's video, we're going to explore an essential feature in Revit that can streamline your construction modeling workflow which is creating and dividing parts. Revit allows you to break down certain elements into smaller, manageable parts that can be scheduled, tagged, filtered, and even exported. Let's start by diving into the basics. For instance, imagine you have a simple element like a floor or wall. We'll show you how to create parts from it and divide it into smaller segments to represent individual parts. For example, you want to divide a wall or a floor surface into parts that represent a standard size of gypsum wallboard. First you select the wall, click the Create Parts tool on the Modify tab, and then press Enter. Each of the wall layers is now a separate part element that highlights as you move the cursor over it. The floor or the wall element itself remains in the model, but is no longer visible or selectable unless the part visibility parameter in the view properties is set to show original or show both. Let's select a part. Note that the properties palette identifies the category, family, and type of the original element from which the part was created. We can also see the assigned material to the layer that this part represents. Let's switch to an elevation view to understand the concept of sketching divisions on this part. Check the view properties to make sure parts are visible. Now select the part and click the Divide Parts tool. You can draw division lines to represent the extents of the wallboard sheets. Make sure that the lines intersect the part's boundaries. When you click Finish, each sheet is now a separate part that you can schedule, tag, filter, and export. In addition to sketching geometry that defines parts divisions, we can use references that intersect the part, such as levels, grids, or reference planes. Creating parts from a layered element also helps you graphically communicate the structure of the element. For example, after creating parts from a multi-layer wall, we can easily edit the dimensions of each part so that the assigned materials are visible. With the view set to show parts only, select the outermost part, and then select Show Shape Handles on the Properties palette. Now use the shape handles to change the part's dimensions. Repeat for each layer until the desired representation is achieved. Note that modifying a part has no effect on the geometry of the parent element. As we said earlier, we can also create a schedule that represents data for each part. This will help us create bill of quantities that have the exact informations we need to export from the Revit model. In addition to schedules, we can tag each part from the original wall to represent each part in a 3D view, elevation or 2D plan. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more Revit tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.